we should all be inventors. <laughs> Growing up, me, my sister, and my cousins had, I'll say, invented our own way of communicating. We used random words um, and signals that we used while playing with our walkie-talkies, exactly like the one in the picture. It took me time to find. We invented our own way of communicating. Inventing from my perspective is to come up with something new, something away from usual, something never seen before, or you do it in your own way. Inventing isn't necessary in the world of robotics or science. It could be in any field, as we, see, as we just saw, music, poetry, sports, in any field you are in. Why we should all be inventors? I've been inventing for a while, and getting to see the impact of my work on someone is a great privilege you get when, while inventing. There's always this line that I hear when I'm sitting in a classroom or sitting somewhere, and especially when we're given a task to do. This line is, I wish there was an invention to do this for me. Or another line like, I wish there was something to do homework for me. Or I wish there was something to do this project for me. I stopped saying that line because instead of just wishing, I could go and make it. Let me tell you a story. I'm a big fan of soccer. I tend to forget the names of the players and the teams they play in, but who cares as long as I enjoy the game. I created this image of myself at home as an unlucky person when it comes to soccer. It's not that the team I cheer for loses. The second I look at the screen, the other team scores in. And it happened multiple times in the past five years. We're talking about more than 17 times. And I've been counting them. So I remember that year. I, I like cheering for the national team and especially for a player called Umar Abdurrahman, because as I, as I told you, I forgot their names, so he's easy to identify on the screen with his hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so the national team was competing in, uh, in the Golf Cup back in 2010, and I really didn't know how things worked, but I just wanted to cheer. So I get everything ready, the flags, uh, I sat in the room, I put food, everything, and I switched on the TV, and I was gonna watch it with my sisters and parents. Surprisingly, they kicked me out of the room because they said they didn't want the team to lose. I wasn't mad because they kicked me out of the room because, you know, I could watch it on any other TV. I am mad, but it, please, my parents don't get mad, okay? <laughs> but I wanted, uh, I wanted someone to cheer with me because I didn't want to just scream, goal in the room when no one's with me. So I decided to create a cheerleader. The cheerleader, <laughs> the cheerleader is based on a character I used to watch on TV, Um uh, Khamas. <laughs> so I got it dressed up. I tried to make it look as much as Mkhamas, but a mechanical Mkhamas. I recorded a few songs on it. I got it ready with a flag. And every time the team scored, I switched it on and it started singing with me. It was complicated because every time they, they score, I have to switch it on and they start singing. And then they score another one, switch it on. And it was a long process. Luckily, that year, the national team won. And I got featured on our local newspaper. And since then, my family can't kick me out of the room because I became the famous daughter. <laughs> Inventions could be as simple as anything. I think you guys notice when we're sitting with our friends or with our family, we use words that don't exist in our language. These are inventions. You may have figured out a way of doing a task in an easier way. <laughs> we all do it. <laughs> Congratulations, you are all inventors. Inventions are made to make a task easier or less complicated. I'll give you an example. Louis Braille, the inventor of Braille language for visually impaired people. He became blind accidentally at the age of three. And at the age of 12, he wanted to create something to help him read or write. So he created Braille. Louis put his, his knowledge into creating something that would help him. And that was his way of inventing. Inventions could be as simple as the word fleek to as complicated as the cure to cancer. So you guys are inventors if you invented a word or something like that. Inspiration is all around us. I get inspired every day by the people I meet, the places I go, the articles I read, the newspapers I read. I read newspapers. Everything I do. And uh, I remember, I still remember how I got inspired to make my latest invention. I, due to the things I do, I'll have to skip school a lot um, because I get the chance to go to different events and conferences um, and at speak at them or I'll also attend them. So I'll have to skip a day or two, maybe a week or two, but I do, my, I, do, I do my work, so don't worry. But I have to skip school a lot. So I remember staying after school that day with my English teacher 
And my English teacher told me that line that we laughed about for a while, but then inspired me to create one of my latest inventions. She told me, Fatima, you managed to invent everything in the world, and she said everything that way, and couldn't invent something that goes to school instead of you? And here I got the idea of creating a robot. I created the teleporter, a robot that goes to school instead of me. But I didn't just want to make it a normal robot, because you know, I don't want all the kids to stay at home and we see robots going to school. So I looked online and decided to dedicate it to a group of people, kids with cancer. These kids spend a long time in the hospital or away from their home, away from their countries. So I decided to do something for them. So through this robot that can control it around the school and go through the school halls through any device they own. What makes this robot special than any robot around, if you guys can notice, it's made from a hoverboard. So it's recycled. And I hope in the future, inshallah, that every kid would, uh, would get the chance to build their own teleporter and maybe use it at their school, at home, or donate it to someone in need. Inventions could be made very easily. You guys just have to think of an idea. Make this one work, and then make this one work, and then create something. And maybe you can get into the cycle of getting inspired to create something and then inspire someone else to make something else. And then we could have this whole cycle of inventions and new inventors in the UAE. Inventions could change your life and other people's life too. We are capable of coming up with new ideas, products, or anything that could do work for us or could do things that we can't do. There was this event, uh, inventor called Kenton Lee who decided to create something for kids in African countries. Kids in African countries usually own one pair of shoes or not at all. And he wanted to create something, let's say, as he called it, the shoes that grows. So he wanted to create a shoe that could grow with them for the years. So that sh this shoe could be expanded to five sizes. Kenton also uh, put his knowledge and his ideas to help people. Because sometimes you may not notice any problems around us, but other people around us face problems that we see normal every day. Inventions could impact your life a lot. It could be your living, it could make you a famous person, it could be the popular inventor around, and also it could make you the next Steve Jobs, as successful as he is. Or it could give you the power to change someone's life positively. Because we may have problems that we face every day that are considered nothing to other people and also others who face problems that are considered nothing to us. So if you do have the power of coming up with ideas, and believe in your ideas you get, because most of the invent inventions I got is before I slept, the ideas I got them before I slept, or I'm in the shower, or I'm walking around, especially in my classroom. So these small ideas could impact someone's life. So believe in it, and break all the barriers around us, because it could change someone's life. Thank you.